Hello and welcome to uh, this week's episode of Coast of the Week. Now, you might have known it's Wednesday, to, it's Wednesday today and I've literally got uh, this extra episode going online. Starting from every Wednesday, I'm going to be doing another episode of Coast of the Week. Now, some people will notice that I mentioned this on Thursday's um, episode of the Bradford Production Show. If you've not seen uh, the episode, this week's episode of the Bradford Production Show, Make sure you have a look at it, and, I'll, and it'll be just me telling you about uh, the schedule for Coast of the Week. Um, it's going to be the same. It's always going to be on on Saturday, and I'm actually going to be adding an extra episode uh, to this week's uh, edition of the series. So every Wednesday, new episode of Coast of the Week, and there's going to be lots more to look forward to uh, throughout the year on Bathroom Productions, and I cannot wait to share plenty of more roller coasters that I've been designing. Uh, with everyone out there, so let's get straight into this video then. Uh, this week I've designed a log room ride, and I really like designing log rooms. I think they're the best coasters, uh, the best water coasters out there, and I've actually uh, got one for you right now. So, what is the name of this ride? It's called Timber Falls. Now, this is a good ride uh, for a log room. If it was to have some theme in it, would be really good, but you can't do theming in a uh, Thrillville, but you know, this is a really good game you can design any case that you want and you can build how you want it to look so timber falls home we're going to quickly go through the field data rating uh, the max speed is 45.02 miles per hour but the average speed is 14.80 it's not as fast as it's not fast as a roller coaster like a steel like a steel or woody it's not fast as any of those coasters because uh, this coaster is on water so the log is actually in the water so you can't so it won't go as fast as the ones on the track uh, it's two minutes and nine seconds long it's quite a long roller coaster a long coaster a long long through ride uh, the air time you get is 46 seconds long and then this ride has seven drops on it so it's quite a good uh, little log through but I'm actually going to tell you that the fill and the thrill rating and the nausea rating are all in green, so the thrill rating is 68 out of 100, which is absolutely brilliant. And of course, the nausea rating is 38 out of 100, which is in the green section, so they are very good uh, sections to be in because the, the aim of the game is to make sure that your park guests don't get sick while riding the coasters, so it's always good to have low nausea and high thrill rating for family coasters. So, I'm actually going to quickly talk through the... Um, Statistics now, so uh, 4,820 pounds to build, and like I said, it can fit eight feet, eight customers at a time, so four on each log, so that's a total of eight people. So, right, we've, we've done the uh, statistics and field data, and I think it's time I now film an online POV of this awesome log through. Let's do it. So, okay, then this is the log through coast, so you can just see right here. Uh, you can actually see it's quite good so far. It's going to be quite a long uh, POV. It's going to be the longest video of Coast of the Week so far because of this uh, log frame. So you can see uh, the, the log cars are brown. I made it like uh, actual oak itself, oak colours itself, and it's going to go up the first lift hill. No banks on this one. No no curved drops because this is a log frame coaster. So you can just see here. It's quite good. It's nice and colourful as well takes you on a little tour around the construction area you can just see here it, it doesn't go as fast as steel or wooden coasters or in or suspended coasters but you can just see here how good it actually looks for look for family so you can ride it so as you can see here we're now making our way down the other drops of the coaster of the log flume and it, and it does get quite soaking at the end. We're nearly at the end of the ride now, just a little bit more to go. And of course, got to go down the big drop at the end of the ride, as you can see.
So now we're making our way over to the uh, last bit of the, you can see the little drop I've done here, but the big one is about to come up. And you can see here, this is the tallest drop on the coaster. On the log frame you can just see here, that's the soakest drop on the ride. So that's it then, this is literally the end of the ride and it's a good little ride and I'm going to now, I'm going to now um, end the video, so let's go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Coast of the Week. It's been a very long one this week um, for Coast of the Week, and it's because of the log flume. It's just been how long it is, how long the ride was, and I thought it had some really good drops in there and some really good elements used to the coaster, and I made the lift hills not so high because it's a family water ride, so I thought I'd stick to the um, a gentle ride theme, but next week, on Saturday, this Saturday, I'm actually going to be doing a really, really awesome case. So it's going to be very, very wild. So it's going to be really fast as well. And I cannot wait to share this coaster with you. Thank you very much for watching Bathy Productions. Make sure you check out all the other videos that are going to be going online very soon. Uh, we've got more Minecraft videos coming up online uh, throughout the next week or so. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And of course, more coaster of the week as well. Thank you, thank you very much for watching Bathing Productions and I will see you in another Bathing Productions video very soon. See you later everyone, bye for now.